Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today, um, <clears throat> I want to... Um, now, don't turn this video off because there's more than just the request to plant seeds. There's something really important I have to say as well. And don't, please don't, don't click off this video. But we need to share the word of God. We never know when someone is going to need that word to save their soul. We never know when someone's going to use that seed we planted to save their soul. By just calling on the Lord. By just acknowledging that he's Lord and Savior. Think about the, the, the thieves that were hanging on the crosses on either side of Jesus. One on the left and one on the right. They were both mocking him and putting him down and making fun of him. But then, before the end of his life, before the end of their life, verse 42 in the book of Luke, chapter 23, And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And verse 43, Jesus replied. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. The man was a thief. He was out there stealing things that didn't belong, taking things that didn't belong to him. He was being hung and crucified for being a thief. And he turned to Jesus and said, he acknowledged him just by turning to him and saying, Lord, he called him Lord. He believed he was Lord. He called him Lord. Remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. We don't know when someone that we have planted a seed that that they'll need that seed, that they, they will open that seed, grow that seed right at the last moment of their life. That maybe the last breath they said, Lord, save me. They may have called Jesus. We don't know. But we know that he is faithful and true. That if we call on him, he will answer. Plant those seeds. I want you to lift up Lisa, Lisa's daughter for prayer. They both need prayer. The daughter needs healing mental, spiritual, and, and, and physical healing. And God doesn't have to come down to do that. He can just say the word. <laughs> Remember Jesus and the centurion? He said, Lord, I'm not worthy to even have you come underneath the roof of my house. Just say the word. I'm a man in charge. I, I have soldiers and I say, go and they go. And I say, come and they come. Just say the word, Lord. He said, just say the word. He said, I too am a man of authority. Well, brothers and sisters, we have authority. <laughs> we have authority that Jesus gave us before he left this world that said, go forth and preach the gospel to the four corners of the earth. He authorized us to plant seeds. We are certified. We are anointed. Well, get out there and do that. And um, so lift Lisa's daughter up for healing. And lift Lisa up. It's very hard to have a sick child. But to have them unconscious. Where we don't know. And we don't know. Have they accepted Jesus? And we're worrying about them. We don't know. Well, we pray for them. And we're going to pray for Lisa to have faith, to lift her up for strength. We're going to lift her up for comfort. We're going to lift her up for peace so that she can continue to go to the hospital, be with her daughter, and be at home and take care of the things she needs to do there and go back to the hospital and that her trips are back and forth are safe. Let the Lord keep her safe. And that the Lord just speak the word and heal her daughter. I also want to lift up um, Bill. Bill, I want to lift up Bill. 
he has an illness that he's afraid has come back from years ago and we need to lift him up and and pray that he have received the healing that he had before that he receive it again <laughs> God is so faithful and true he is so wonderful so wonderful to you and me <laughs> and just know this remember the story where the where the um, master <clears throat> had the vineyard and he went and he hired laborers and the went first thing in the morning and some of them went there and, 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 and later in the day around noontime he went and got some more laborers and sent them to work and joined the ones that were working since early in the morning and toward the evening time he sent even more workers in and at the end of the day they all got paid the same. Doesn't matter when we come to him. <laughs> it just matters that we come to him. And we're all going to get the same reward. Life eternal with our Father, the Son, and the Holy Angels, and all the saints that have gone before us. All the ones that will go with us and the ones that come behind us we don't know when the Lord is going to call on our, our name we just don't know and we don't know what's going to come of those seeds that we plant we don't know if in the last few seconds of someone's life they call on the Lord they don't even have to do it verbally you don't have to hear it no one has to hear it. It's like, if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound? If somebody calls on Jesus at the last minute of their life, will they be saved? Yes. Do we know if they've been saved? No, we don't. But we have faith in our Lord that our prayers will be heard and that they will be answered. And as always, I love you.